Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Floyd County Animal Shelter, with help from Junior's Hibachi, organized a fundraiser Tuesday afternoon in downtown Prestonsburg with the hopes of raising some of the funds necessary for a new building for their location. We met up with Missy Allen of Judge Robbie Williams' office to find out more information on how we can help support those who help us manage our local pet population. There's always a need for assistance with food, uh, bedding. Right now we are at capacity at the animal shelter so as we look into the hopefully not so distant future we know that we need a new building. We have rescue groups that come in to the area uh, all the time and so we're just wanting to coordinate with all those folks and just honestly just be able to to get just a better shelter. Allen says that with any luck there will be more fundraising opportunities like this going forward. One of the projects that the judge's office is very interested in being involved in is with our Floyd County Animal Shelter. So we are working with the shelter to raise money through various fundraisers, and this is just one such fundraiser. We hope to be able to continually do fundraisers through the upcoming months, at least quarterly, to have something planned, 5Ks, different things like that. As we put together a board at the animal shelter, we've got some folks that are going to be coming onto the uh, current board. Then we're looking for new ideas and, and just ways to get people involved with our animal shelter and just to, I guess, just let people know that it's out there and that, that we need help. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to take care of all the creatures great and small in our county. With the shelter's capacity currently maxed out, adoptions are also greatly encouraged for those who have the ability to do so. And while their adoption fees of $120 for dogs and $90 for cats may seem higher than most, Allen points out that the extra expense up front will actually save pet owners considerable money in the long run as the shelter, unlike other shelters, covers most of their animals' initial veterinarian costs. But one of the things that we do at our animal shelter that is a little bit different, a lot of people think, well, wait, wow, those fees are high. But we make sure that every cat and dog is spayed or neutered before they leave there. Some counties, you know, will adopt a, an animal for $15 with the promise that you're going to get that animal spayed or neutered. Well, that doesn't, doesn't always happen. So for us to make sure, to, as we try to control our pet population, it's critical that we, we know that we've done the right thing by making sure that those animals are spayed and neutered before they leave our shelter. So for that reason, our fees may seem a little high, but you don't have that expense down the road when you go to a vet to try to get that done. For more information on the Floyd County Animal Shelter and their continuing fundraising opportunities, residents can contact the shelter directly at 606-886-3189 or Missy Allen at either 606-886-9193 or 606-791-7837. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.